and 18 will amend the Teachers' Registration and Standards Acts 2004 to address issues with the ability of Teachers' Registration Board to suspend the registration of a teacher charged with serious offences and to improve administrative arrangements for the appointment of an acting registrar for the board. Our educators are vital to the strong development of our children. The best teachers improve lives of students and contribute to a well-educated and engaged community. I'm sure most people here and most adults at home can remember the teachers who impacted their lives. I certainly can remember the teachers from my primary school years that made a lasting impact on me for good and sometimes for not so good reasons. I remember my teacher that taught us our multiplication tables by guitar, which was great. I remember the teachers who acted very quickly when I had my asthma attacks. I remember the physics teacher who only wanted to answer the boys' questions, and so my parents employed a tutor because I wanted to learn and I had plenty of questions. And I remember the teacher who used to stroke my back in circles when I asked him a question and it made me feel uncomfortable. And now knowing what I can remember about my childhood, it probably made me feel even more uncomfortable and unable to speak up because of other things in that space that were happening at home. Because teachers can make such an important impact on our children's lives, and they spend six hours a day with our children, five days a week, the good teachers and the majority of the teaching profession deserve the trust and respect of our community. To engender this trust, the state must maintain high professional standards for its teachers and ensure that these teachers registered in South Australia are not only competent educators, but fit and proper persons to spend that amount of time and care for our children. The Teachers Registration and Standards Acts 2004 sets out provision for the registration and oversight of the teaching profession in South Australia. It establishes the Teachers Registration Board and provides the board with, amongst other things, functions of regulating the teaching profession and promoting professional standards for teachers. The bill specifically aims to improve the ability of the board to deal with unprofessional conduct of teachers. It will provide the registrar of the board with the ability to act immediately to suspend the registration of a teacher or impose or vary conditions on a teacher's registration where a teacher is charged with a prescribed offence. Current provisions for the suspension of a teacher's registration limit the board's ability to address any immediate concerns with regard to a teacher's conduct. If the board becomes aware of, a ser of serious charges laid against a teacher, it cannot take action to suspend that teacher's registration until it has held an inquiry into the matter and determined there is proper cause for disciplinary action. The board may also need to wait the, for the outcome of related court action before it can even commence a disciplinary process. Currently, a teacher's registration will remain valid while any court proceedings and subsequent disciplinary inquiries are underway. This means a teacher can potentially hold themselves out to be a fit and proper person to work as a teacher or a tutor despite being the subject of a serious criminal charges relevant to the safety of children. So herein lies today's risk to the well-being of our children. A teacher facing serious criminal charges related to the offences against children will remain on the public register while these matters are finalised and they have the potential to negatively impact on the safety of children and this risk undermines the integrity of the register of teachers. Clause 7 of this bill sets out provision for the registrar of the board to immediately suspend the registration of a teacher who is charged with a prescribed offence, pending an inquiry as to whether there is a proper cause for disciplinary action against the teacher. The clause also provides for the registrar to vary the conditions of a teacher's registration, including by imposing new conditions if they are charged with a prescribed offence. 
The bill provides for three members of the board to review a decision of the registrar to suspend a registration or impose or vary condition on a registration within 60 days. On review, these board members could continue the suspension or the variation of conditions or cancel the suspension of the variation of conditions. A suspension would continue until the board has determined whether there is proper cause for disciplinary action against the teacher or 120 days after the day on which the last charge to which the suspension or variation relates has been withdrawn or finally determined or until the suspension is otherwise cancelled under the provisions. The board can determine to cancel a suspension or variation of conditions at any time. Clause 6 of the Bill includes amendments to Section 20 of the Act that are consequential to the new provisions for the immediate suspension of a teacher. The amendments ensure that an employer does not commit an offence by continuing to employ a person whose registration as a teacher has been suspended but prohibits that employer from requiring or allowing the person to continue to teach or hold a leadership position within a school or preschool. The board undertook consultation with a range of stakeholders about these proposed changes, including representative organisations for the education sectors, principals, unions, parent groups and the providers of initial teacher education. Stakeholders broadly supported the proposal and their feedback has helped shape the final form of the bill. All children have the right to be protected from violence inflicted on them by anyone in their lives, whether it be parents, teachers, friends, family or strangers. And all forms of violence experienced by children, regardless of the nature or severity of the act, are harmful. Beyond the unnecessary hurt and pain it causes, violence undermines children's sense of self-worth and hinders their development. The adverse effects of child abuse can be lifelong. I remember in South Australia when it was reported that there had been a critical incident report filed on sexual abuse in the South Australian schools every two days in 2013. In just 74 school days to the end of May 2013, 35 critical incident reports concerning sexual abuse had been filed in SA schools. The year before, in 2012, there were 47 critical sexual abuse incidents recorded in SA schools. At the same time that Justice de Bell was inquiring into the Labor government's handling of child sex abuse cases, sexual assault critical incidents were being recorded at a rate of one every two school days in South Australian schools. In King, a teacher was reported for serious offences against children and prosecuted last year. This goes on. The widespread silencing of sexual abuse in institutional settings has been so vividly repealed, revealed by the testimony given to the Australian Royal Commission into Institutional Responses to Child Sexual Abuse 2013-17. State recognition of the potential for institutional abuse has been enshrined in Australian legislation from as early as the 1880s, when states enacted clauses criminalising teachers' sexual offences on their pupils. Research and reports have shown that the longest delays in reporting of child sexual abuse occur where the alleged perpetrators were authority figures, such as teachers, priests or foster carers with data showing that the majority of these reports were made at least 10 years after the incident. The Government will today introduce legislation into Parliament to amend the Teacher Registration and Standards Act to enable the Teachers Registration Board to immediately suspend the registration of a teacher charged with serious criminal offences, including rape, murder and drug dealing. Existing provisions mean that if the board becomes aware of a serious charge laid against a teacher, it may need to wait, await the outcome of related court action before it commences a disciplinary process. A teacher's registration currently remains valid while any court proceedings and subsequent disciplinary inquiries are underway. 
This means that while a teacher charged with serious offences would be stood down from their current employment, they could potentially seek employment in another school or as a private tutor. This is a risk to young people in our educational settings in South Australia. I commend our Education Minister for advocating and delivering the current provisions in our Act which need to change. Our Minister has said, every day across South Australia, our teachers work hard to improve the lives of students and contribute to a well-educated and engaged society. They deserve the trust and respect of our community. However, the Teachers' Registration Board has brought it to the government's attention that current provisions in the Act potentially allow teachers to present themselves as suitable for, for employment in a school setting despite being the subject of serious criminal charges relevant to the safety of children. We believe that teachers facing such serious charges should not remain on the register while these matters are being finalised. Children could continue to be at risk. The new bill would allow the board to immediately suspend the registration of a teacher or vary the conditions of a teacher's registration if they are charged with a prescribed offence. We must do everything we can to keep our children and young people safe at school and to uphold the integrity of the teacher's register. The legislation has been welcomed by the Teachers' Registration Board, which seeks to close the loophole. The board undertook consultation with a range of stakeholders about the proposed changes, including representative organisations for the education sectors, principals, unions, parent groups and providers of initial teacher education, said Dr James Lomax-Smith, the chair of the Teachers Registration Board. I expect these changes to be welcomed by school communities by the parents living in my electorate and by the overwhelming majority of teachers who dedicate their lives to giving our next generation the best possible start in life. I thank our Minister of the Marshall Liberal Government and commend this bill to the House. Minister. Thank you, sir. I'm very pleased to be concluding debate on the Okay, so I, I need to say, Minister, sorry that if you do think speak, everyone you close the debate. Yep. Comfortable with that at this point, but thank you, sir. Um, I'm very pleased to conclude debate on the Teachers Registration Standards Miscellaneous Amendment Bill. Uh, thank the member for Port Adelaide and the member for King for their contributions and for indicating their support for the bill. This is a bill which I've been very pleased uh, to see has the support, as I understand it, of all members of this House, and I hope it will have a speedy passage through the Legislative Council uh, in the coming weeks. Um, it's an important bill. It's important in that it deals with uh, both the safety of our children, which is, of course, an utterly critical priority, and indeed it is also a bill that ensures that the register of teachers kept by the Teachers Registration Board uh, can be seen and understood to be an utterly reliable uh, primary source. If a teacher is on the register, uh, then they will be known as a result of this bill to be uh, uh, not facing such charges and it will become a document of utter reliability. And this is desirable because, of course, uh, we have tens of thousands of teachers in South Australia and we have tens of thousands of them uh, who are worthy of being on the register, who dedicate their lives to the education of our youngest South Australians. It's a worthy and a noble profession. It's a calling, and their reputation should not be sullied or tarnished by the despicable and disgraceful behaviours and acts and the criminal offences uh, of some people who, up until the passage of this bill, have remained on the register for far too long. So it's important for teachers, and it's valued, I think, by many teachers. Uh, the Shadow Minister indicated the um, support uh, of the Education Union, and I indicate, of course, that uh, given that the uh, significant number of Education Union members who are uh, on the Teachers' Registration Board who indicated their support for this bill, uh, I, was, I was hoping, therefore, that those, those members would uh, be able to uh, uh, speak on behalf of the profession through that role, and, and clearly they have. The, um, more importantly than that, though, even, is uh, for the protection of our children. And I think the member for King articulated extraordinarily well in her contribution, um, I think in a very personal sense, she conveyed uh, the utter importance uh, of this sort of legislation. And I'm very pleased that it uh, has the support 
of the Labor Party. Um, uh, it's uh, uh, something I hope will pass the Legislative Council very quickly in the weeks ahead, and I commend the bill finally to the House. I need somebody to move that the bill be read. So you've moved that? Okay, so, so that's been moved. Is it been seconded? All those in favour say aye. Those against say no. That is carried. Mr Clark. A bill for an act to amend the Teachers Registration and Standards Act 2004. Is it the will of the House to proceed to the third reading? You move? I move the bill be read a third time. It's been moved. Uh, is that seconded? Yes. All those in favour say aye. Those aye. against say no. That is carried. Mr Clark. Amend the Teachers Registration and Standards Act 2004. Minister. Sir, I move that the House do now adjourn. It's been moved that the House do now adjourn. All, uh, is that seconded? Yes. yes. It's been seconded. All those in favour say aye. Those aye. against say no. That is carried. The House stands adjourned until tomorrow, Wednesday, at 10.30 a.m.